Crazy Horse Memorial is a mountain monument under construction in the Black Hills of South Dakota in the form of Crazy Horse, an Ogala Lakota warrior riding a horse and pointing into the distance. The memorial was commissioned by Lakota Chief Henry Standing Bear to be sculpted by Korzak Zawilski. The monument consists of the mountain carving, the Indian Museum of North America, and the Native American Cultural Center. The monument is being carved out of Thunderhead Mountain on land considered sacred by some Native Americans between Custer and Hill City in South Dakota, roughly 17 miles away from Mount Rushmore. The sculpture's final dimensions are planned to be 641 feet wide and 563 feet high. The head of Crazy Horse will be 87 feet high. By comparison, the heads of all four of the U.S. presidents at Mount Rushmore are each 60 feet high. The monument has been in progress since 1948 and is still far from completion. If completed, it may become the world's largest sculpture. The mountain carving was begun in 1948 by a Polish-American sculptor, Korzak Zawilski, who had worked on Mount Rushmore in 1924. In 1939, Zawilski had received a letter from Chief Henry Standing Bear, which stated in part, My fellow chiefs and I would like the white man to know that the red man has great heroes too. Chief Henry Standing Bear and sculptor Korzak scouted potential monument sites together. Zawilski wanted to carve the monument in the Wyoming Tetons, where the rock was better for sculpting but the Sioux leaders insisted it be carved in the sacred Black Hills of South Dakota. The memorial is a non-profit undertaking and receives no federal or state funding. So Wilski was offered $10 million from the federal government on two occasions, but he turned the offers down. So Wilski felt the project was more than just a mountain carving, and he feared that his plan for the broader educational as well as cultural goals for the monument would be left behind with federal involvement. So Wilski died in 1982. The entire complex is owned by the Crazy Horse Memorial Foundation. So Wilski's wife Ruth and their 10 children remain closely involved with the work which has no fixed completion date. The face of Crazy Horse was completed and dedicated in 1998. The memorial is to be the icon of a huge educational and cultural center that will include the University and Medical Training Center for the North American Indian and the Indian Museum of Northern America. The current visitor complex will anchor the center. The 2007, in 2007, a $2.5 million donation was received to be used for the university. Ground was broken in 2009 on a new residence hall and classroom buildings. The university was opened with 21 students in 2010. The university was designed as a satellite of the University of South Dakota and teaches math, English, and American Indian study courses that provide college credit as well as outreach classes. Over $1.2 million in scholarships have been awarded, with the majority going to Native students within South Dakota. I feel that Korzak Zorilski embodied the spirit of servant leadership by having the ability to dream a big dream. That dream lived on after his death. In addition, his dream was born out of another's need. That was being the request of Chief Henry Standing Bear. As Larry Spears describes, from those whose primary motivation is a deep desire to help others, Korzak displayed some of the pillars of servant leadership by being a person of character, putting people first, he was a skilled communicator, as evidenced in the fact that no one has lost their life working on the mountain despite the dangerous conditions, a compassionate collaborator, which is evidenced by all of the people who continue to want to be involved with the original work that he began in the 1940s. He had foresight as he envisioned the massive sculpture out of a mountain 
and he led with moral authority. Despite offered funding from governments, he stayed true to his course of not taking outside funds that would allow control and supersede his original vision. Although not a part of his original vision, the monument will also be a cultural and educational center. Servant leaders such as Korzak work in a way that reaches through the generations and touches lives after their life's end. Clearly the monument isn't just a feat displayed in stone, but a testament to having a vision, working hard to achieve your goals, and always believing in others to assist you in achieving great things.